Hello everyone and welcome to Tin Can, which is a new game available on Steam, currently on sale for $13, in which you try to survive in an escape pod as it experiences various malfunctions that you have to troubleshoot. On the one hand, it may be too narrow in scope, on the other, at least the premise is straightforward. I chose to purchase it and I'll let you decide whether it was worth it or not. Uh, this is a video of my very first foray into the game, which I live streamed on Twitch, and here is the original audio. I guess I should do the tutorial, huh? Sandbox. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. I guess the rescue is the default mode. Shall we do the tutorial or shall we just go into rescue? Okay. Survive six minutes. Yeah. No, I'm not ready. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know how to access my manual. Um, core meltdown on her way. Load as many components as you need inside your pod and eject. Oh, this is the escape pod. Oh, left shift to run. Okay. Well, left control to crouch. Okay. Up. Okay, can I close this? F to talk. Oh! Wait. Okay, alright. Seems really small. It can't be that much. Oh, what are you? Um, escape pod. Maintain the right or left click press while aiming at a nearby handle to move around in zero G. Oh, we are in zero G. Wait. Um, I, I don't know what it just said, actually. Um, I don't think I need a tape recorder, a uh, tape player. I was still crouched. On off button emergency lights. Sure. Uh, what? I don't know... Okay, start. Alright. Alright, so that, that is just F to toggle, I guess. Okay, that's round monitor. Master warning. Nope. Manual. Model tall 270. Uh, I just won't read. Okay. Valves panel. Oxygen generator is going. It's about 20. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh, okay, well, I don't see any error codes. Where would error codes be? Atomic pile temp. There's an atomic pile? Breathability is fine. I'm not too sure. Maybe shaking is nom nominal? I mean, it's like re-entry. Temperature seems fine. Oh! Ah! Uh. Are there rocks? I think there are rocks. I think there might be... It's either rocks or debris. I think things are gonna go wrong. Um, where did my manual go? Gravity generate, uh, generator. No, I guess we have a gravity generator. Um, I don't know what happened to my manual. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Do we have keys? Interact is F. I don't know where my manual went. Okay, I hear a beep. Master warning. Okay, the oxygen generator is leaking. So... Comrade, the oxide scrubber is fine. Where did the manual go? Repair station. I don't think we have any parts. Or maybe... Let's see.
oxygen bottle. Well, that's not the only thing that's... Can I repair this? Oh, uh, let's, let's put that back in. Well, I don't know where the manual went. That's not my fault. Main generator. Whoa. That seems fine. Radiation shield. So it's an atomic generator for a, an escape pod. I feel like that's overdoing it, but... Well, find sources of the problem and fix it before losing consciousness. Well, yeah, I have a. I don't want to take the button. How do I put the master caution button back? Fuse. Uh oh. What? 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 Electrocution! I was almost there. Uh, okay, well, hmm, hmm. Oxygen 9%. Pod condition was 96% though. Okay, we need to, like, be able to access the... How long do we have to push that, anyway? So apparently we head into some sort of a debris field. And that knocks some system out. And... Where is our pad? Liquid nitrogen bottle, like we ever need that. Okay, there it is. Okay, well, let's just learn about the oxygen generator first. How about that? Gravity generator main computer displays a list of main computer logic system. It seems like it's not on or something. Airlock. Recycling station. Replenish an empty oxygen bottle from a full carbon dioxide bottle. Well, here we go again. Air filter. They, they seem very intent on the air filter. Okay, so it's there now. But, wait. Okay, if I go down, I can pick it up. But there's no guarantee this is going to be the problem again. Mm. This is the CO2 to O2 recycling station. Leak somewhere. A leak filler. Uh oh. Um, what is? Where is the leak filler? Batteries display hydraulics. Tin can. Tin can. Power connector. That's all other stuff. Uh, turn my flashlight on, fine. Okay. 
I don't know where the leak filler might be. Emergency lights. I feel like that should be a thing. Hey, it's an NASA sticker. <laughs> Do not open while in operation. Okay. Leak filler. Okay. But where's the leak? Oh, there it is. Okay, we have we have patched the leak. Whoa. Okay. Three more minutes. And actually the oxygen is not too bad. Oh. Master caution on the CO2 scrubber though. Is it a full bottle yet? I'm gonna clean the air filter. How about that? Still going up. No, it's sort of wavering at 2.5, 2.6. It seems really high, but. Well, if that green zone is how much we can take, I guess it's all right. Data connector. Power transformer. I think I should stay away from all the transformers and fuses, shouldn't I? Three point three. That's fine. One minute and twenty seconds. This computer doesn't do squat. Logic components. Woo. I feel like something's missing here. Whoa, there was a hand. Okay, I don't know about that hand. Left shift or left control to move up or down. Oh. Okay, so we can use that. Oh, our oxygen generator is having a warning. And we don't get like a warning code, do we? Okay, maybe a filter. Jerry, can you hear me? It's me. I'm aboard rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. Maybe we'll be all right. Up, all right. Five, four. Maybe it's okay. Oh. I think I think we survived, but that was a little bit tight. I get a large battery. Okay. All right, uh, let's let's try the tutorial to see what goes on. Move and interact. Well, I guess we'll find out. Hey, Jerry, uh, can you hear me? Could you? Do I'm me Jerry, a apparently. I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old Medusa escape pod, but I'm stuck in the engine room fixing our damn reactor. Could you leave your cleaning? This pod is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. Could you do it for me? It's pretty straightforward. Seems important. Could you locate the oxygen system and open it? Yep, this is the one. As you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. Um, power transformer. 
that's the left hand. Why? I do have to. Just put all now I've got transformer in one hand and the fuse in another one. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in their respective spots. Um, I'll be right back. How can he see? Maybe there's a camera. Maybe I'm actually seeing things, but we can't hear. Large battery. I guess I didn't actually put the fuse and transformer in until I put the battery, so okay. Pump. Pump. I think more explanation might be necessary. Power connector, too. The buttons. <laughs> I don't like taking out the buttons. Buzzer. Hey, it's a buzzer thing. Master caution. Master warning light. Uh, I'm confused. Okay. Still don't think there's zero gravity around here. Data connector. CRT monitor. Jerry, uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system on using the on off switch. Well done. Uh, now we just need to check if everything is working properly. Could you look at the monitor and switch to the error codes channel? Is this... Perfect. Oh, it's like this. Um, now as you can see, the oxygen it's not on the bottle main the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? Okay. That's the one. Uh, the Seems recycling a station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Anyway, just uh, replace the empty bottle with this full one. All right, we're done. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it. Are you still there? I'm detecting a leak in the pod. Could you uh, get the leak feel? You might have to climb a bit. Uh, he was going to say feeler, huh? With your free hand to get closer to the leak. Oop. No, come back here. Well done. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Uh, we're all good. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is Hey, it doesn't crazy. read that it's empty. Vital needs. Well, let's go for it. Jerry? Can you hear me? Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room, and I still don't have time to take care of that damn Medusa escape pod. You're gonna have to get inside the pod again. Really, it seems like it takes about as much time for him to tell properly. me what to do. I'm gonna need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. So on Earth, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is one bar, and the oxygen level is around 20%. Well, That's it's more our than that. target. As you can see, we're all good here, and the value is green. But if the value turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. Well, I mean... So, the pump Not exactly, inside the oxygen okay. system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. Okay. Below the oxygen system, you'll find the carbon dioxide scrubber used to get rid of the excess of CO2. I need you to turn it on as well. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Your body breathes O2 in and exhales CO2. The value should never rise above 6% at one bar. Now let's check the pressure generator. 6% uh, seems awful high though. CO2 scrubber. Turn it on. 
So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. It's also important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure. Alright, we're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system on. It must be getting quite cold in here. Got little errors. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure, without heating you'll eventually freeze to death. But in a pod like this one, equipped with a hot atomic pile, you need some way to stay cool if you don't want to be cooked. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pile at full power. Alright, you should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You can go back to your work. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. See ya. Okay. Power management. Hey Jerry, uh, it's me again. Uh, so I was installing a new atomic pile inside the pod and guess what? So I'm going to cut the external power connection so we can test the new atomic pile. It's going to get dark in here, but don't worry, we'll bring life back to that old tin can, all right? Basketball hoop. All right, I need you to find the main reactor. It's located on the ceiling above the gravity generator. I need, yep, you got it. Uh, now just turn it on, all right? If I turn it on there. Oh, on this side. Perfect. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. The hotter it gets, the more power it produces. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? So the red needle indicates the energy produced by the pile, and the blue one indicates how much energy the active systems need to function. As you can see, it's above the red one. It means that the pile is currently not warm enough to produce all the required energy. Now, I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests, but in normal circumstances, it's the processor plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? See? The pile temperature is stabilized and the needle is not moving anymore. Could you turn the main computer on so I can look at the system status? Mm -hmm. I guess this is what the main Damn computer is for. I've locked the temperature too soon and there isn't enough power. Could you, could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on? Just keep an eye on the needles. You need to align them. Still got more stuff. They want the computer on, right? Okay. Well, that doesn't need to be on. Uh, I can't, well, it's still higher than it. Um, this thing. Perfect. Temperature. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh. It's getting miserable in here. If you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So, uh, always make sure to protect your systems with a fuse, 
and a transformer in case of overload. Anyway, it seems the new atomic pile is working fine. So that's it for me, and you can get back to your cleaning. There you go, folks. Now you know how to operate an atomic pile. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, Jerry. I know, I know, this is the last time I swear. Just get back inside the pod. There is a problem. <laughs> Thanks again, man. You have no idea how much work it is to keep this escape pod in working order. Honestly, I, I would rather die than have to escape <laughs> this thing, even after a bunch of repairs. There you have it, folks. Anyway. The oxygen system has a problem, and I need you to check the error codes channel on its monitor. Well, now I know how to do that. Perfect. You should have the error list in front of you. The main computer usually translates the codes, so unfortunately I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, all right? Mm, there was. Bad power trans. Power transformer is damaged. Okay. Do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything. Yes, uh, we've done that before. Yeah, I had a feeling this transformer wasn't working properly. I need you to use the repair station to fix it. Put the track. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components, and the bottom one, how many you currently have. So we don't have enough. We need to dismantle something else to get more spare parts. Oh dear. Just take the transformer out of the repair station. We need to scrap other things. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the door, and press the dismantle button. Oops. Oh, it actually got stuck on the power transformer. Interesting. That's a heavy transformer, too. Okay, dismantle. Well done. You know how to <laughs> spare parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away. It's dead now, anyway. Just put the transformer oh, they have a inside Hulk the of a repair station and press oh, repair. Monitor. You can now put the transformer back inside the oxygen system. Uh, make sure it's turned off first. All right. Uh, once you're done, you can turn it back on. Well done. You're really doing me a favor, so thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work because this damn reactor is driving me mad. Maybe it was the reactor that destroyed everything and killed us all. Probably. Probably that's what it was. Oh, I guess I have to... Oh! Oh! Oh, we're going straight into the... Jerry! The ship's cooling system just failed. Uh, it was. The reactor, it's reactor going to blow. You need to grab Evacuate as to many components as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. No matter Warning. what you do, do the not leave aboard that damn. Evacuate to the nearest <laughs> escape pod immediately. Oh, oh. This is not a. Failures and diagnostics we just did, right? So that's that's it. Well, these are locked actually, so we have to go through individually. We'll try the 10 minute one. I mean, basically I will have beaten the game, right? Um, I want to take that, fine. Let's, oh no, I want, hold on. I wonder how long I have though. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know if the toggle is a good idea. I don't think the caution thing is... Uh, okay, fine. Oh! Okay, so it's only one minute that we have. I want big things. Oh, there's a counter at the bottom, you're right. Warning. Reactor knockdown 
large processor sounds good. 22 seconds. Uh, let's just go. Yeah, I, I saw it eventually. Okay, we have stuff. And things are gonna go wrong. Actually, the... This system isn't even working right now. Can we start it? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, one bar. Let's see. Okay, let me just see. 2NOA. I wonder what that means. Where's the thing again? There it is. On battery. They're all on battery. Well, that means the reactor isn't working, doesn't it? Or maybe it's not. Well, it seems balanced and everything. Hmm. Oh, now, now I guess it was only on battery while they're uh, starting up. They seem to be okay now. For now, until we get hit by things. Uh, well, there's, there's some mistiness out there now. Why did it need so many windows for an escape pod? Uh, I don't know what's happening, but it doesn't sound good. It sounds different. It sounds like icing. No, the main computer is not on and not functional as far as I can tell, because, like, there aren't any logic components. So, I mean, uh, there's just nothing in there. Power components. Uh, I guess we could probably, maybe, maybe if we can shove something in there. Not the air filter. Maybe there are things that we could add to it that would fun uh, make it functional, but... Well, it's lulling me into a false sense of security, but there's all this crackling of ice outside. Like, that's gonna get me at some point. I guess it must be random. Okay, the oxygen generator is a little bit low now. Oh, we've got a few things. First of all, it's on the battery. Oh, gosh. Um, um, we've got a lot of things that have happened. Um, B B K E. I was lulled into a false... Uh, empty bottle. Okay. Okay. Uh, fine. I mean, now it's on battery still. This one, we're at 4%. AR22. Can I just assume that I need to switch that bottle? Okay, and let's just clean the filter. Alright. Um, that seems to be all okay. That's getting back down. That's fine. This one seems okay still. But it still has an AR-22 and NA. So AR-22 will memorize all these things by the end. Uh, dirty filter and NA-82. Low pump. Damaged pump. Okay. Just blow on it. Um, now it's a nine loft. 
low battery. I don't really need to have exactly one bar. Oh. Um. Okay. We, we had a problem. Actually, let me turn this one off. This one, let's just make sure we're turning off. Okay, pump, fuse, where did I put the battery anyway? That's the battery. Did I have a spare battery around? Um, this repair station doesn't seem to be active at all. I think we would need to actually put a battery and stuff in the repair station. Um, I don't even know how much oxygen... I don't know, it's going down. Oh, it's working now. Nine one seven H. Oh, well, it's gone now. Nine loft. That one we had before. low battery oh um Jerry? 19 Can seconds though it's me I'm, I'm that's fine uh, we're almost there just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you we're gonna bring you home alright we don't even have temperature control do we Okay, anyway, we were rescued. So, it seems pretty random. I don't know how the rescue ship gets through all that debris that we seem to be having. They have some serious RCS thrusters, if those are RCS thrusters. Okay, we got a CO2 to O2 recycler. I guess uh, maybe these will unlock those other things like the temperature control. Okay. Okay, so there you have it, Tin Can, a fairly straightforward space survival game. With that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.